I think by definition it means not forgetting. Because in order to forgive, uh, you are acknowledging the evil that was done to you. And you're saying that this was wrong and this was an aberration. Uh, and you're choosing uh, to release that desire, to retaliate that desire for vengeance. Uh, that does not mean forgetting. Uh, and I think moving on is not really the precise or correct term to use when you're healing from trauma. Uh, the way I would explain it is that you become a whole person. That part of your story is integrated into who you are. And it becomes part of who you are in a way that shapes your direction. Um, and let's be honest, there are still scars. There are still wounds. I, if you, I think one of the best ways uh, to think about abuse is if you liken it to a catastrophic physical injury. And you think, how would I respond if it were a catastrophic physical injury? So say you, say you uh, get T-boned at an intersection. Uh, and you have, uh, you know, you break your femur, you have a significant spinal cord injury. Uh, and you do everything the doctor says, you go undergo all the surgeries, you do all the physical therapy, and you're basically restored. Uh, you basically heal. You never become physically the person you were before that accident. There are always scars that remain. And sometimes those scars are going to hurt. You can forgive the driver that T-boned you, but your memory is still there. The scars are still there, and sometimes the pain surfaces. So forgiving does not mean that all of those things go away. Uh, and that you become magically the person that you were before you were abused. Uh, and I think a correct definition of the healing is really important for survivors to have because there is a lot of cultural and societal pressure uh, that when you forgive, it means you don't have the impact anymore. And that's not true. You know, if you suffer a catastrophic injury, there are going to be limitations uh, to what you can do. There are going to be times that you're in pain. There are going to be times that you need help and comfort and empathy for those physical injuries that you experienced. And the same is true for trauma like sexual abuse. You are going to continue uh, having scars and wounds. You're going to continue uh, needing help and care and empathy. There will be times of grieving, and that's not a sign of weakness. That's not a sign that you haven't forgiven. That's not a sign that you haven't healed. That's the reality of your story now. Um, and it becomes part of who you are, uh, but it transitions to a much more hopeful uh, existence. Uh, and when you're able to integrate those parts of your story and to see how they weave together, uh, you are moving forward, but you're not moving forward in a way that pretends it never happened. You're moving forward in a way that is using what happened as shaping your direction and shaping part of what you are, learning to grieve uh, and to heal in a way that is non-destructive to those around you. And it, that in no way minimizes the evil that you experienced.